What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I'd like to give you some tips for the naturalist role here in Red Dead Online. The first tip is the most important and that is you can do missions for Harriet before you're level 5. I missed this myself several times. Um, you can see it's down here in the right hand corner. It says start a poaching mission. I thought it was odd that we couldn't do any missions for Harriet until we were level 5 until I finally noticed this myself and it took a while. I mean, I, I played for several hours before I even noticed this option, but there is an option to do poaching missions for her. Like I said, it should be down in the right hand corner. These do have a cool down timer on them. Seems like it takes about 15 to 20, maybe even 30 minutes before they're back up. But every 20 to 30 minutes, you're able to do another poaching mission. They will give you naturalist XP. They're very easy to do. Just be aware you will be freeing animals from cages and some of them will attack you as soon as you open the cage. So other ways, of course, I'm sure you guys have noticed there's a lot of ways you can gain this naturalist XP. But if you're out just starting out in the naturalist role, anytime you discover an animal for the first time, you track it, of course, you know, you study it, you're going to gain naturalist XP. You're also going to gain XP from collecting those samples and selling them back to Harriet. If you sell them individually, you'll get a small amount of money and naturalist XP, or you can make a collection of animal samples and sell them back for larger amounts of money. Check your animal guide or your animal book there and it will tell you, you know, exactly what each collection goes for. Of course, you know, the higher quality tier animals like legendary sell for more in a collection. I'm not sure how much XP you get for a collection. I have just been selling individual samples to her. Uh, but I'm sure you get a pretty large chunk of XP along with that large chunk of money. I'm sure most of you guys know the animal spawns have been fixed in game and there's tons of wolves out. And I kind of learned this the hard way, but I had collected samples from a group of wolves that had, that had attacked me. I was in the same area, pretty much 5 to 10 feet from one of those wolves doing some other uh, animal sample collecting. And those ones that I had, you know, down and put to sleep got back up and attacked me again. So be aware if you're downing a predatory style animal they will get back up if you stay in that general area and they will attack you once more and if you kill them at that point you cannot skin them anything that you have gathered a sample from if it gets back up you cannot kill it and then skin it it will not allow the game will not allow you to do that i think a lot of people are confused at how many shots it takes to down these enemies so you can gather samples from them from what i have gathered it seems like six to eight shots on the larger animals Smaller animals like rabbits, one to two shots. And really small animals like squirrels, majority of the time I kill them. I have gathered one sample from a squirrel. I'm not sure how I did that. If you guys know a, a tip for that, you know, how to you know gather samples from these really small animals, leave it down in the comment section below. I may have headshotted it. Uh, that might have been the trick. I'm not sure. But it does not seem to matter where you shoot these animals. It takes a lot to bring down a big animal with these new varmint rifle bullets so just be aware you're going to be buying a lot of bullets from harriet and last but not least you can eventually make harriet so mad that she will not do business with you for a certain amount of time last night i was farming for several hours i had gathered tons of samples and i had killed tons of animals and skinned them as well when i went back to harriet she pulled out her perfume bottle in a absolute rage sprayed me in the face and told me she was not going to do business with me anymore and then it then her tent was grayed out and locked I would say it probably took about 20 minutes before uh, I was able to sell her any of my samples. So just be aware you can't eventually just piss her off so much that she's not going to do any business with you. Some people have said you can turn your game off and turn it back on and she will uh, she will do business with you then. I'm not sure if that works. I did not try it uh, personally. Anyway guys, I hope these tips, uh, these tips helps you out. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. The uh, affiliate here for the channel, GT Racing, is listed down there. Be sure you give those guys a look. And also the community Discord in my Twitter is linked down there as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.